2015 was the year of the extra point. It was the year the NFL moved it from the 2 all the way back to the 15. This in turn resulted in 71 missed PATs, the most since 1977. One of these misses was during the AFC Championship game between the Broncos and Patriots. Late in the first quarter, Patriots running back Steven Jackson ran for a one-yard touchdown. One of the most accurate kickers in the league, Steven Skoskowski, came out to kick the PAT. Shockingly, he missed. This would haunt the Patriots throughout the game as they ended up losing by two. But what if Steven Guskowski hadn't missed the extra point? On the SN Sox Sports, and this is what if Steven Guskowski hadn't missed the PAT. With 12 seconds left down by eight, Tom Brady found Rob Gronkowski for an amazing four-yard touchdown. But in order for New England to send the game into overtime, they had to make a difficult two-point conversion because of their kicker's early miss. They couldn't score their two-point conversion sending the Denver Broncos to the Super Bowl, in which they would upset the Carolina Panthers to win another title. Now let's go back. What if Steven Guskowski hadn't missed the extra point? Well, we'll assume everything in regulation plays out the same. Tom Brady still hits Gronk with 12 seconds left, but instead of going for two, they kick the easy PAT with one of the most accurate kickers in the league. Skowski nails the extra point and the game is tied 20-20 going into overtime. Denver wins the toss and starts with the ball. On the very first play of overtime, Manning hits Jordan Norwood for what looks like a 67-yard touchdown, ending the game. Denver is celebrating but doesn't see the yellow flag on the ground. The penalty is holding and nullifies their touchdown. The penalty rejuvenates the Patriots defense so on the next play. Manning's pass is intercepted by Rob Nikovich. The Patriots come out to kick the game-winning field goal. With the biggest kick of his life, the best kicker in the league nails the kick and sends New England to the Super Bowl against the Carolina Panthers, leaving Manning no farewell ring and making Brady the winner of this longtime rivalry with no hesitation. Next up for the Patriots is of course the Super Bowl against the number one Panthers with the league MVP Cam Newton. The Panthers are still the heavy favorite. The game begins and after both sides switch punts, New England is able to score after a 9-yard Brady the Edelman touchdown. New England's defense continues to hold the Panthers and they have their third straight 3 and out. New England finishes the quarter with a field goal going up 10-0 leading into the second. After yet another Carolina punt, New England goes on a long drive culminating in a field goal leaving New England up 13-0. Carolina's offense finally wakes up and on the first play of the drive, Newton hits Ted Ginn Jr. on what would be a 41-yard gain. After a Newton scramble, Devin Funches catch, Mike Tolbert trucks his way in for a one-yard touchdown run. New England's lead is cut to six with the score at 13-7. Patriots then go on a dramatic 12-play drive, ending with a four-yard touchdown run by James White with only seconds remaining in the first half. The third quarter is scoreless with both defenses showing their dominance. So now we jump to the fourth quarter with a Jonathan Stewart three-yard touchdown, again cutting New England's lead to six with a 2014 score. After a Patriots three and out, Carolina responds again with a two-yard Cam Newton run. Carolina leads for the first time all game 21-20. Again, New England can't muster a second-half score and drive in punts. Carolina, with their newly awakened offense, goes on a long drive, but rather than get points, kicker Graham Gano misses a 45-yard field goal. With 2.58 left in the game, it's time for a vintage Tom Brady drive. On the first play of this must-score drive, James White runs for meaningful yards. After two clutch Edelman catches, New England finds themselves on Carolina's side of the field. The Patriots run off the clock with James White and Steven Jackson. With two seconds left, New England brings out the best kicker in the league to attempt a 42-yard game-winning field goal for the Super Bowl. Steven Guskowski proves he has ice in his veins in the warm San Francisco weather and nails it, giving Tom Brady and the New England Patriots its fifth championship. Brady now has more rings than any other QB and is cemented as the greatest of all time. Guskowski, who is already one of the best kickers in the league, is now up there with Venetari for one of the most clutchest kickers of all time. Brady is named the Super Bowl MVP and shows the world last year wasn't a fluke. Now let's all rewind. None of this actually did happen. So many small things could happen in sports that make us say, what if? I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, favorite, and subscribe to Sock Sports.